A man at the Jersey Shore is putting an artistic focus on waste where it doesn't belong. Every morning he takes steps for better health and a cleaner coastline. This for Ted Greenberg shows us how his mission is receiving wide recognition. He sets out from home about 40 minutes before the sun comes up. This is my favorite part. A daily three and a half to four mile walk that's therapeutic for Eduardo Jimenez. This is like medicine for me. It's an exercise that contrasts the beauty of a new day along the sand in Brigantine with the ugliness of improperly discarded garbage. Other people can see the example and do better. His beach walks began in the early days of the pandemic. Working out at the gym wasn't an option. You see that blue? Ever since, he's been scanning the sand for litter, picking up piece after piece. Oh. Eduardo documents his finds with photos, then transforms the trash into temporary compositions shared on social media. Depictions of marine life crafted with balloons, plastic bags, cigarette butts, and other waste to highlight the critical need for coastal conservation. I start using Instagram to promote the awareness of trash on the beach every single day. The garbage he collects goes back to his garage. Much of it he'll dispose of properly. Maybe that could be the eye. The rest upcycled to form permanent pieces of art. Since 2020, I probably made 100 art pieces. His dedication to the environment was honored this year with an award from the New Jersey Clean Communities Council. Eduardo's work has been showcased in local exhibitions. Seaside Salvage is currently on display at the Brigantine Community School. Seeing the work that he's done with the pollution on the beaches, I think it's very important for our scholars to see that, to see what can be transformed into something better. Eduardo's collection efforts take him off the beach as well. He uses wooden pallets from construction sites that had been thrown away to make the frames for his artwork. I'm not gonna clean the whole planet out of trash, but at least I'm doing my little part. His creativity is fed by tossed materials that he hopes one day will no longer be. How about wish of never finding trash? In endless supply. Ted Greenberg, News 4, New York. Yeah, everybody in the